Hey, very bad shit's the 18th of December, 2020. Pray that you're all well and at peace. Just thought I'd share this with you because I found it very interesting, for one. But it's just another way that we see clearly that we're being lied to from every angle pertaining to this pandemic, right? Yesterday, we had a major snowstorm here in the Northeast. I mean, it was pretty big, you guys. I've been moving snow for two days. I'm pretty tired. But regardless, we had a massive storm, and it shut down basically everything. And according to this article, it dumped the snow, and it shut schools and virus testing. You know, New York declared state of emergency. This was all up and down the New England coast, okay? So I go and I look at their COVID cases. Like, this claims that they shut down virus testing. But if we go to the COVID tracking project, this is the leader in information. So they claim. Uh, Johns Hopkins even goes to these guys to get their information. So they're supposed to be Johnny on the job. You know what I mean? So new tests and new cases in New York as of the blizzard. If we go just a few days ahead, we see the 15th, 194,000 new tests, 160,000 on the 16th. And then we had 200,000 new tests on the day of a massive blizzard. Everybody else was off the streets and at home, but I guess the people that had to get tested got there somehow. And the new cases as well. The 14th, 9,000. The 15th, 10,300. The 17th, almost 11,000. And this is the authority on this information. So they're telling us that while there was a major, and I mean major blizzard occurring, where virtually no one could even move, 200,000 people still got over to get tested in New York, and another 10,000 cases were found in New York. Oh, I'm sorry, 11,000, right? And we can jump up to Massachusetts, which also was shut down. Same website. I'll leave a link to this for you. Let's see. Leading up to the storm, we had 61,200 new tests. We had 124,000 new tests. And on the day of the blizzard, we had 92,600 new tests. Where did they come from? How did they get there? Did they snowshoe to the testing site? This is just blatant in your face, you guys. And I know it's probably not going to matter whatsoever because they're just going to move forward with this. I'm telling you, if you don't have Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, get to it now. So we'll look at Pennsylvania that got absolutely dumped on. On the 15th, 18,600 new tests. On the 16th, look at this, 21,800 new tests. On the 17th, the day of the blizzard, wow, that must be a record, 24,300 tests. And what about the cases? On the 15th, we had 9,500 new cases. 16th, we had 10,000. On the 17th, the day of the blizzard, we have... 9,966. That is just incredibly interesting, isn't it? I'm telling you, man. You can't get around the fact that this is the biggest hoodwink bamboozle that's been perpetrated on man since the devil convinced man that he didn't exist. This is insane. But anyway, I wanted to share it with you. We really did get one heck of a storm up here yesterday. And uh, one other thing, I am getting an inkling, and I hope to do a video because a lot of stuff is kind of popping up here in the last couple days. The financial system, I am feeling that we may be looking at the financial reset starting to take effect here. They will find a way to cause this system to come down. They must burn it all the way down in order to bring in the new monetary system, and they are doing it. 
and I just got an inkling that that's going to be over this next few days. There's going to be some sort of calamity. I don't know what it will be, a cyber attack, Brexit, who knows. It, they can just come up with something. They're professionals at it. But anyway, I hope to be doing a video on that as well. So, that's what I'm seeing for now, and I just wanted to share this with you because this is insane, you guys. It's just so pathetic in your face. All these people snowmobiled and snowshoed over to the testing sites. Unreal. God bless you all. Peace and grace to you. Benny Fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 